who is Bram's joker and the wager. Hello, 17,973, 41,413, and a two-day total of 77,147. And that means, ladies and gentlemen, that World Vision and the World Community Grid, two very worthwhile charities, are each going to benefit with $500,000. Well, we've just seen history made here on KXAN this afternoon. Watson, the supercomputer, wiping the floor with the two greatest human champions ever to play Jeopardy. Watson was primarily developed at IBM's Austin site. And IBM had consulting help from a team of UT scientists. Well, today they gathered at a watch party to celebrate Watson's success. And that's where KXAN's David Scott joins us now from with more on this epic battle of men versus machine. David. And celebrate they did. You know, it's much tougher to teach a supercomputer to play Jeopardy than it is to teach it to play chess. Jeopardy is tough. The questions are tricky, the language is ambiguous, and the topics are far ranging. So, how did a machine beat the two greatest Jeopardy players ever? It's elementary, my dear Watson. Watson. What is it, Shoe? You are right. You get to pick. Literary character APV for 800. And sir, the Daily Double. Watson is a supercomputer four years in the making, stuffed with data. But he also has the ability to reason how likely his answer is correct. From that, it comes to a final decision, and it rates its uncertainty. It's actually been showing on the show. Here's my answer, and here's my confidence in those answers. And then if its confidence is high enough Watson. in one of the answers, by the time the light goes yes. on, Olympic it buzzes Olympics in and, and has it. Seems to have a split personality. Who is Hyde? Hyde, yes, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, either one acceptable. You're now in the lead with 1,400. Watson practiced with nearly a quarter million questions from previous Jeopardy seasons to understand the game and develop a way of reasoning not unlike the way we reason, sort of. It's a lot fuzzier than that. We don't exactly know everything about reasoning. So in some senses, I think Watson is reasoning, maybe not in the traditional way that logicians think. Watson. What is the last judgment? Correct. Go again. Beatles people for 400. It's very tricky, you know. The questions are not set up to help the humans answer them. They're set up to make them even more difficult for humans. Watson. Who is Jean Valjean? Correct. Olympic oddities for 600. Jeopardy is a devious human game without the strict rules of something more manageable like chess. Language understanding is a very difficult problem. There's ambiguity. There's other things that come in that make the Jeopardy challenge much more interesting and challenging from an artificial intelligence point of view than, than the chess deep blue problem was. Watson? What is Sauron? Sauron is right, and that puts you into a tie for the lead with Brad. Today it was all smiles for the IBM and UT scientists who created Watson. It was no elementary piece of work. And now their baby is the new champ of Jeopardy. Well, in the future, there will be other applications for Watson's type of technology. It could transform business and society. You get instant ready answers and expertise in the fields of law, medicine, engineering, just about anything you can think of. And besides, Watson's always got a pleasant disposition. At IBM in North Austin, David Scott, KXAN Austin News.